Hello and welcome to another LEGO Marvel Super Heroes set review of the set number 76084, The Ultimate Battle of Asgard. So you can see Asgard in the background there and they're just fighting just right outside it. And um, yeah, we got four here, we got um, Hela here, we got one of the Valkyrie. And she's called Valkyrie here, but she does have an actual character name in the movie. She's not the Valkyrie that people know in the comic books and whatnot. And on top of the box, it shows you all the characters you get in this set. And on the back of the box, shows you some of the features of the spacecraft, whatnot. Uh, instruction book one tells you how to build the craft, as well as that thing underneath Hella makes it look like a lot of the business. The uh, first booklet also ends with advertising of the other set and the Spider-Man sets as well as uh, advertising the Marvel app. Book 2 tells you how to build that dog demon creature with a uh, parts card on the back and advertising for other Lego stuff like Lego ugh, Lego City stuff. Which, let's uh, see, uh, did I get any of these? No, I didn't even get the starter pack for that wave. And more parts. Yeah, more parts guide here. There's also a comic book here, but I think I already went through this on the uh, Spider-Man video, so not going to go through it here. And of course, there's also a pretty big sticker sheet in this set. Of course, is this giant uh, spaceship, which is not scale accurate, and in fact, it's not even any of the main characters' ship. It's uh, I won't say when it appears in, in the movie, but it's not the Valkyrie's personal spacecraft, not something that Thor uses or Loki uses. It's just a ship that they uh, got commandeer. So, I mean, yeah, it's a nice design ship. It looks pretty cool. It's got this whole circle ring thing going on, but it's the wrong scale, and it's technically not important. And um, so you got the cockpit here, which you can you can only fit one person here. So I guess Valkyrie will be driving this, and that's it, really. Uh, you got this piece here. So boost banner. You plug them onto these two studs on the back there, and you push this down, and it will fall down because become the Hulk. Some stud shooters here, which with some unintentional. Uh, articulation to such shooters, but whatever, it's welcomed, I guess, and also a compartment on the back. Now, in the movie, this area, whole area, should be for you know the figures and people to walk around and stuff in the back when they're not sitting in the cockpit, but uh, we don't get that there. And yep, lots of <laughs> little stud holders on the bottom makes it the bottom look really ugly, so you just want to look at it from the front. This is not an attractive ship at all, it's kind of crappy <laughs> from the underside. So that kind of sucks. Our other build here is this creature, which is more relevant to the actual plot. Uh, so this creature here, so it's got a board joint for the neck, board joint for the tail, and a little hinge on the back. It's got board joint for the upper legs, or upper arms, and board joint for the toe joints. Now he doesn't have any studs at the bottom, so you can't actually click into anything, but um, he stands all right. And since this whole thing is just articulated, it's pretty good. He also has a mouth articulation. Oh. Like that, so you can just chomp a little bit. So the overall build of this thing is okay. You can only tell get the brown piece meant to be his eye, but uh, yeah, this thing is a little bit flimsy. Uh, I don't mean that in that it falls apart because, but um, I just mean that because he has a lot of joints, which is a good thing, but it just does makes him wobble all over the place. So, but still, he's an all okay build. Um, much better, more relevant to the movie than this ship. And starting with her, she does have a spare hair piece, regular minifigure, long hair piece we got there. She also comes with a uh, sword and an axe. And she has this big chunk there, makes her look like Lord Business. <laughs> so, it only has a single hinge there, so you can bow, even though that's not something that she would never want to do. So let's just remove her from that. And she's got these black web punch shooter thingies. Uh, these, you know, you just push it down and it should pop out of the hand. And um, she also has this helmet there, which uh, the base shape reminds me of something that Captain America or the movie Flash will be wearing. They just added these little sharp bits on it, and the whole helmet's made out of rubbery plastic. It makes it kind of hard to remove from the head. Uh, you see that? I thought this was a problem reserved for bootlegs, but no, apparently real Lego has this problem too. So you really got to uh, bend the helmet to pop it off. So she's got this uh, green lipstick look going on. The torso pin is a little bit hard to see for the most part, apart from the breast area. I thought this is a kid's toy, <laughs> because it's dark green on dark plastic. On the back here, she has more of a mask-like face that would suit that big mask a bit more. But I just felt like having a more human look for that helmet display. And the back print is also very hard to see because it's just really dark. 
Blue Sparrow doesn't come with any accessories. These two of uh, Helena's guards, they have these little uh, Ninjago display things molded in black. They're called soft ish plastic. And they all have these little backpacks just to put a little um, like a back bone hook bone thing on the back of them just to make them look more alien y. They're just little backpack pieces. Four has the blue, transparent blue version of those little. Uh, punch web things and she's got a sort of half cape as well as two little dagger swords. In the other gear we move, the printing on this uh, <laughs> minion here is we have really really hard to see but it's all kind of cool that way. It's just the whole darkness of it is pretty nice and same on the back as well. The details are very nice there if you do see them but um, just hard to spot. I think it's okay. Uh, for the most part, because they, they are meant to be quite dark colored, so that's okay. Uh, Bruce Banner here, finally LEGO releases a Bruce Banner character minifigure. We've had that from bootlegs for a long time now. And uh, the jacket and stuff looks okay, but the face doesn't scream Bruce Banner at me. It's just generic print, like it could be anyone. I mean, yeah, on the back he does have an angry face with green eyes, but that just looks like the Superman head with the laser eyes just turned uh, red to green. So really not that impressed with this, this figure is just kind of bland. The four character, now compared to the other set, uh, the design, base design is the same, head is the same, but of course the other set you got some uh, red paint and blue paint on the armor, which this one does not, and this one has a little red cape instead. Still has a, the pretty nice arm print going on, and on the back there you have the uh, metallic blue light lightning eyes and the back arm print. The Valkyrie figure here, yes, she does have this blue cape, just like I mentioned earlier. And on the back there, she doesn't have a secondary facial print. Her hairpiece is made out of hard plastic and stays on very well. And she's got some silver metallic design on the back. Her print design is pretty good. So yes, this set does have the main villain of the movie and got the main characters here. But the set itself, I really don't care about that red ship. It just doesn't seem right to be in a set like this. You've got two sets only for this movie, and that ship's really not that important or special in terms of the movie's plot. I mean, it looks nice, but that, that's just it. It just looks alright. And the build's okay from the top, but it looks ugly underneath. So, eh, yeesh. If you can get these figures separately, I probably recommend you doing that because the figures themselves are pretty good and highlight of this set, but it's just the build is kind of crappy. The dog demon there is also important in terms of the movie's plot and it looks alright. It doesn't require any stickers to make it look like a dog wolf demon thing. It looks okay. So yeah, if you're only going to get one four set, I probably recommend the arena one. But if you can get both, then hey, it's alright. But probably maybe try and get rid of that red ship. <laughs> I just don't like that a lot. The figures themselves are great and the accessories are pretty good and I like that they gave us two of those minions from Helena's army instead of just one. So that's nice too I guess. Subscribe, suggest and comment below and of course take care and have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye now.